Hello everyone. Today I have another tutorial about one of my favorite things in Lightroom. Today I'm going to talk about how I make and save a Lightroom preset. Now presets are a little bit like actions are in Photoshop. They apply a group of settings to your photo. In Photoshop actions apply a series of steps. So a little bit the same, a little bit different. I don't use a ton of presets in Lightroom, but my favorite place to use a preset is when I am making a black and white conversion of a photo. So here I have developed I have developed this photo like I normally would. I've increased my blacks a bit, up my brightness a teeny, done my vibrance. I've talked to you about all how I do that before. And now I'm going to come down here to the black and white panel and I'm going to click on black and white. Now I don't usually love the default settings but I tweak them using this targeted adjustment tool. If you have never used the targeted adjustment tool before, I am introducing you to a miracle worker. I love this little tool. I just click on it over here. I'm going to click on her skin tones and I'm going to up them because I like my skin tones to be a little bit brighter. So I'm going to click and drag up and you'll notice that her skin tones are getting gradually a little bit brighter. And then I'm going to click down here, her neck is the tones down here are a little bit muddy, so I'm going to click and drag up to just brighten those skin tones a little bit as well. And then I'm going to pick some of the darker tones, some other areas where I want to darken a little bit, just to provide a little bit more contrast. Um, sometimes I like to do it just a little bit in the hair. And I'm going to call that good for now. Now I'm going to go up to the tone curve. I like to use this to just add just a little punch of contrast. I'm going to click on contrast here and just add a little punch. And just know that you can do the same thing with, see this little targeted adjustment tool here? You can do the same thing here. Click and drag up, click and drag down where you want to add a little bit more contrast. And now here I'm going to add a little bit of vignette. I like a little vignette to my black and whites generally. Um, just add a little bit here. Now I've made this preset and I'm ready to save it. So I'm going to come over here to my preset panel over here on the left and I'm going to click on the little plus sign and it's going to open a dialog box and it's going to ask me what I want to name this preset and I want to name it another black and white. Well, not another BS, another black and white. And I'm going to come down here and click check none. The reason I click check none is that I don't want anything but the things that make this preset what it is clicked. And the reason I want that is because I want to be able to uh, develop my photo how I normally would. I want to be able to adjust my exposure or my brightness or whatever, my white balance especially how I would, and then apply this preset on top of it. I don't want it to apply a white balance to my photo, especially for a black and white. Those are things that I tweak and adjust for each photo on a photo by photo basis and I don't want that to do that here. I'm only going to click the things that make this preset what it is. Now I clicked on tone curve. I did adjust that. I clicked on and I adjusted my treatment black and white and my black and white mix. I'm going to click on both of those. Also I added a bit of a vignette so I'm going to click there. That's all I'm going to click because that's all I want to tweak and I'm going to click on create and you'll see how it pops up over here under my workflow. That's the where I saved it was in my workflow drop down here and then I'm going to show you how I can just pick another photo, click on it and apply the same preset. I'm going to come over here and click on this photo. You may have seen this one before. I'm going to click on the preset that I just made and saved called another black and white and you'll see that it automatically converts this photo to black and white as well. Um, I like presets. I use them occasionally and I think they're a great way to speed up your workflow just a little bit um, and add that little bit of quickness that we all want when we're developing our photos. Anyway, thanks for listening today. I appreciate you visiting my blog and I'll talk to you or blog to you later. Thanks. Bye.